A Bug's Life was a groundbreaking film for a reason you might not expect. If we analyze the narrative through an allegorical framework, the ant struggles mimic our own, working tirelessly for inadequate pay, operating in unsafe environments. But most importantly, the ones at the top break in the majority of the profits. Things look bleak, but our savior enters when we need him most. Flick is an incredible hero because he embodies the working class. Society functions due to the perseverance and dedication of amazing people around the world. Princess Ada demonstrates the anxiety many feel living under capitalism. Hopper's overabundance of wealth creates a sense of elitism. He scoffs at the ants, rather than thank them for putting food on his plate. Apathy towards the average worker's suffering is a huge problem that needs addressing. We're learning more about that alarming video of a UPS guy in distress from the extreme heat. He struggles to make it onto the front porch. Then he collapses, overwhelmed by the 110 degree temperature in Arizona. He has to lie down for a moment to recover. Slowly, he gets back up again and reaches for the doorbell before stumbling back to his truck. Mainstream news outlets shame those who prioritize their personal lives over their jobs. Flick is a shining example of how we can treat one another. Rather than focus on output, we should better our material conditions. Socialism is the idea that the workers own the means of production. When the ants collect the food, they receive the fruits of their labor. So today, I want to deconstruct how capitalism influences the ant psychology. Also, how we can appreciate all the bugs in the colony using a socialist framework. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you always see my latest content. Bugs aren't that different than humans when you really think about it. They can create incredible structures through collective labor. Many insects have complex hierarchies, not to mention some can feel emotions. Explaining the working class struggle allegorically creates a digestible piece of media for all audiences. Children can appreciate the messages about being yourself and following your heart. For adults, this movie has an entirely different feel. Many of us resonate deeply with our hero's plight. Instead of receiving adequate compensation, he's met with even harsher deadlines. Princess Ada is similar to an anxious worker who's going to take over a management position. While she's easy to get irritated at, we often forget the pressure she's under. In this universe, crickets rule with a heavy hand. While Hopper seems threatening, his motivation comes from a place of deep insecurity. What he fears most is the ants recognizing their collective value. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos get so much praise, but what about those who work for them? Amazon would be nothing without the hardworking staff that operates in treacherous conditions. Tesla employees grow through extended shifts six days a week when production ramps up. These companies would crumble in an instant if every employee refused to work. This sentiment is also true in a bug's life. Hopper isn't worried he won't have enough to eat. His ultimate goal is to maintain the status quo. The ants, by contrast, focus on treating each other with kindness and dignity. Working is a humbling experience. Doing something we don't want to can help us empathize with one another. Flick works so hard to empower his colony because he's tired of seeing his colleagues' mistreatment. Many would go it alone, but our hero recognizes his limitations and outsources help. Ants are incredible creatures, but their capabilities, even in a colony, are limited. Having the help of all kinds of different insects elevates everyone's well-being. Diversifying the workplace has so many benefits. Sharing different life experiences elevates all characters to new heights. Heimlich transforms into a beautiful butterfly because his co-workers help build up his confidence. What's sad to think about is the oppressive nature the crickets have established. The antagonist collects so much food, they can't possibly eat it all. But instead of dispersing the wealth to those who acquired it, they hoard the supplies. Demonstrating this idea to a general audience highlights the importance of valuing ourselves. Going through life with our heads down is something we can get accustomed to. The system is the way it is. My job will always be awful. Although, we have a lot of power when we stick together. Organizing in workplaces can be a poignant way to make demands. Unionizing is one of Amazon's biggest fears for a reason. After we recognize our collective value, the power imbalance shifts. Think about the ambush scene. Flick and the squad create a fake bird to scare off the crickets. But what does this flying giant represent to the enemy? Hopper sees himself as a predator. He's the one in power, so his underlings must follow his instructions. His biggest fear is being dethroned. He's terrified at the personification of the bug's combined strength. This intricate wooden animal showcases the threat of worker empowerment. Not to mention, a healthier work environment also creates better employees. 
When someone feels well rested, they can outperform a person who's exhausted. A fun and thoughtful workplace excites people more than one that has harsh deadlines. Although the real question is how do we implement these ideas? One of the most important things we can do as a colony is to value every worker. Flick understands that every bug is important. We all add something unique to our jobs that's worth protecting. A bug's life highlights the importance of appreciating our strengths and weaknesses. Heimlich makes tasty bait for birds. Dim makes an awesome transport vehicle. Without every one of these features, the bugs would have lost a hopper. Another way to show love is by creating a welcoming environment. So many people dread their jobs because of the setting. Implementing recreational activities and counseling can make a huge difference in well-being. Letting employees have a little downtime at work allows for a much needed recharge. Unfortunately, capitalism is opposed to these ideas in a lot of ways. If a worker is unhappy but productive, that's a win for the company's profits. So who cares about the person behind the product? Socialism, by contrast, is meant to empower workers. Owning the means of our labor puts agency back in our hands. Plus, we are incentivized to work harder for more profits. Although implementing this change in economics is an uphill battle, Hopper wants the bugs beneath him. His perspective is one of insulation. The crickets make demands so easily because they aren't the ones collecting food. How quickly would an Amazon factory install AC if Jeff Bezos had to work a 12-hour shift in 90-degree heat? Imagine the cutback in hours if Elon Musk had to sleep in a Tesla factory. Ignoring a horrible environment is easy when you're not the one existing in it. Pixar's understanding of class antagonism is another important idea we can extract from the film. Princess Ada is overbearing to the ants because of Hopper's unreasonable standards, so she hounds workers to keep them in line. Capital is the primary motivator for these behaviors. Without enough profit, her life is literally at risk. An employee that doesn't meet a deadline can be fired, resulting in potential harm to their life as well. When capital becomes our value, we tend to distance ourselves from others. Capital is a form of power. Remember Hopper and the bird? Power threatens power. Although, if we reframe our understanding of self-worth, we can connect on a deeper level. When our value comes from our accomplishments instead of money, we aren't competing in the same way. One of the most important tools that we have at our disposal ultimately saves the bugs. Voting isn't the flashiest way to enact meaningful change, but making our voices heard is effective. A general election is coming up this November. I highly encourage all of you watching this video to register to vote if you haven't already. Propositions and the politicians we elect drastically impact the workplaces we operate in. The final message we can learn from a bug's life is prioritizing our creativity. Initially, Flick seems like an ant that's a little bit out there, putting dewdrops into leaves instead of continuing the line. What are you doing, dude? Think about the deadline. But his wild ideas materialize into something wonderful. His telescope lets them get intel on the enemy from a safe range. The fake bird puts fear into Hopper for the first time. Even his patented extractor has a practical purpose by the end of the film. Creativity is so important to our well-being. Expressing oneself is the most fulfilling form of happiness. Trying out new ideas or designs can be mutually beneficial. Employees get to contribute in a unique way, and employers reap the rewards of innovation. Work doesn't have to be arduous. Doing the same menial task without respect feels dehumanizing. We can get stockholmed into thinking this is just how things are. But it's important to remember Flick's words of wisdom. You might not feel like you can do much now, but that's because you're not a tree yet. Our wise inventor doesn't realize the truth in his words. What if we use nature as our guide? Forests have so many amazing properties we aren't always conscious of. Large canopy tops help insulate small trees from intense heat so they can grow properly. Mycelial networks allow trees to communicate their needs to one another. Even in passing, trees will disperse vital nutrients to those in need. All these abilities are contingent on their environment. Trees can suffer from droughts, heavy winds, and a plethora of other factors. If we apply the logic of forests to a workplace, things would drastically improve. Every person needs a healthy ecosystem to prosper, an adequate amount of time to recover from environmental stressors a system of allies they can communicate with in times of need, but most importantly, a sense of selflessness for the well-being of others. All of us are rocks at some point, but we all have the potential to be trees with a little love and support. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Workers' rights are something we need to discuss more in mainstream media. Many people look down on the incredible efforts of those who act selflessly. Living with this perspective is what turns people into hoppers. 
Giving shouldn't be a one-way street. By defining our value based on capital, in a way, we are robbing ourselves of potential happiness. Our creativity, passion, and well-being truly fulfill us, not the number of seeds we have. Organizing, voting, and advocating for workers' rights are ways that we can enact meaningful change. What did a bug's life teach you about economics? How does capitalism impact your mental health?